Okay, so let's actually simplify our code a little bit here. Um, I don't need this configuration. So let's first, let's remove uh, config. Now I'm just gonna comment it rather than delete it. I'll delete it in a second once we know it's working. So then here we have this validate config, uh, which we don't really need. So I'm gonna comment that out. Um, and we can actually just go right on with life, I believe, because the request uh, will get sent to fetch data from API, um, which is actually, instead of grabbing this um, from the config, let's actually grab it from default user, uh, because we actually define that all the way up here at the top. Okay, so let's save that and let's explore again. Next up, I'm gonna actually turn this get fields into an array so that we don't, because see how I'm running kind of the same methods on this fields every single time, um, except for here where I'm running a metric, which it does not need to be a metric. I can actually change this to a dimension um, because the aggregation is not happening in the connector. It's actually happening at the API level. So what we can do is let's, tidy this up and I just created an array that I can then loop through and then actually add this info it's doing the exact same thing except just so that now when I add fields all I have to do is add to this array. And there we go. Uh, our, just the fields that we need are connected. Um, I realized you have to actually keep fields in the, it doesn't like it when you declare this as a global, I don't know why. And I needed this get config. Um, so I just added that again and commented these things out. I'll remove them now. But uh, I think git config is just a required uh, function. It's just something that gets called every time the um, connector runs. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove these. Boom, now we've really, really shortened up our code a little bit. And we're gonna fetch data from the API. I'm gonna change this to um, let's create a new script file and we'll call this um, fetch APIs. And I wanna say function fetch from API. It's gonna take, uh, actually it'll take the request as a parameter. And let's just, we're gonna define a function called fetch from stack overflow. And do we need the request? I don't think we do. So let's go back over to our code. Let's just copy this and remove this. So that's fetch. We're gonna put this in our stack overflow function now. And fetch from stack overflow. And we're gonna return an object with stack overflow, stack overflow. The only parameter right now is just gonna be the stack overflow, but we're gonna put GitHub in there and we're gonna put YouTube information in there. Um, so we need to actually call from the fetch data from API. I'm gonna actually just use this name so that we're correct. So then we're gonna take the API response from here, which is now gonna have um, stack overflow property on it. And we're gonna send it to format data. So all of these items are gonna be response dot stack overflow items.shift and we're going to save that in item um, 
and I'll call it, no, item's okay, item works. And that should still be working. Cross your fingers. Okay, now we've got some information in here. Let's look at the uh, gold badges. Hey, there we go, no gold badges. Uh, I just realized I didn't put reputation in there. So I've got to add ID reputation name, uh, reputation type. Okay, sorry, just a quick little fix there. Make sure that that still works. No, I didn't connect the, uh, I'm gonna reconnect. Edit connection, hit connect, reconnect. Now it should say adding the reputation, cool. All right, perfect. Um, so that's about it for the refactors. The next part, we get, we're getting data, formatting data, perfect. Um, oh, I can remove link and profile image. Okay, the next part we're actually going to add in GitHub and YouTube. Um, and so we're gonna extend this with a few more fields. Uh, stick around and I'll uh, see you in part three, cheers.